What is going on, guys? It's Zani Bass. Thanks for tuning into the channel. If you're new here, welcome. So, I have a watt meter from Basehead Garage. And may I add one thing? Why is everyone making a 30 minute video on how to hook this thing up and it doesn't make any sense? I don't know. But, we're going to do it step by step. It won't be a 30 minute video and it's going to be right to the point. So, let's get it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is that I'm not gonna put the rest of these in there just yet because I don't wanna confuse anyone here. <laughs> just saying. So what I'm gonna do is I already have my wires stripped. So what you need to do is get your wires. You see how this says plus and that goes right in there. This is for your power, guys. So you go ahead and just tighten that on in. Next one, go ahead and get you a ground wire and put that in right next to it. Just like that. And go ahead and tighten that up. And just so I'm not losing anybody real quick, this basically going to be looking just like this. All right. Next one is your remote wire. I basically just had like a piece of remote wire that I'm gonna just, you know, whatever with. So what we'll do is go ahead and put that one on in and also tighten that one on down. Just like so. So this is basically how you wire this. And this is gonna be a little bit longer. That's just me, I don't know. But it's in there, it's not bothering nobody, and it's in there. So let's move on to the next step. All right guys, so we are now on the amplifier output plus and minus. I guess it doesn't really matter here, but this is the second spot. I already took the first spot out so I wouldn't confuse anyone. So what you need to do is put the positive and negative to your speaker wires. And these go to your speaker wires to the amplifier. So we'll go ahead and hook these up. I don't think it really matters which order this is as long as it's in there, because it doesn't say. How about that? So I'll go ahead and pop that in there. And let's go ahead and twist that up a little bit more. All right, now we're gonna put that on in there. like so you don't have to do it the same way I'm doing but let's go ahead and put the another one in there tighten that down if you need to pause this video anytime guys go for it and there is your second thing that you need to do for this all right guys so now we're on the third step so this right here is called the current transformer. And what you need to do is get you some speaker wires. Uh, anything, I guess, it will actually work, but I'm using speaker wires here. And just again, you can put them anywhere you want. So you can put it there. It's a positive, positive and negative. And then you go to the next side. You can put that there. And that's how you do it, guys. There is there. All right, guys. So now we're at the current transformer still. And that's the one I put all my speaker wire on. It's the end one. And this wire goes all the way into this right here. And it's your clamp right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the first one. Just like this. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten that down. Don't you go away from me, man. <laughs> all right. 
and then the next one goes right next to it. And that is it for this step. So now we're gonna go over here and actually show everything, how is everything's installed, and we'll run all this through. All right, so what I'm thinking about maybe mounting it like right here. So it can be right close to these power negatives and the remote wire, which goes here. All right, guys, so now we're over here. So we got this already mounted on the wall. And I'm gonna start with the positive. And like I said, in your amplifier, let's go ahead and put in your positive. Now my setup may be a little bit different because it's a test bench. But you would basically be doing the same thing here. Okay, so then your next one, I'm gonna actually go with my power wire and I'm gonna put these on in there, just like this. And maybe it'll help me if I actually hold that in there a little bit better. <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and tighten this up. All right. All right, so now we're moving on to the remote wire and you have to go ahead and plug that straight in there, just like that. And like I said, in my case, I have to plug this here along with my power wires because it's my test bench. And this is your first step, guys. So positive, positive, negative, negative, remote wire to your amplifier and don't worry about this. I'm going to clean this up later. So let's go ahead to the next step. All right, guys. So you remember your second one, these go into your amplifier, positive and negatives. All right. So let's move on to the other side. Okay. So we're on the other side here. Before I get into anything, I want to make sure that I put this around this wire. So you wanna put it around your positive wire first. And all you gotta do is slip this right on through, just like that. Now, now we can go ahead and put the other wires in. Let's go ahead and twist these up. and pop them straight in. There's that. And then next wire, you wanna make sure that you get your grounds. And go ahead and pop that on in. And that's all to that. Now, as you can see that I have this wire already ran through. This is from a clamp and we have to connect this all the way over here to the current transmitter. So let's go ahead and pop that in there. And boom, there it is. Guys, this is a very simple task of how to wire this up. Um, 
yeah, I really hope that this video helped you guys out a little bit more and maybe even understand exactly how this works. And uh, all my wires are connected. So let's go ahead and get this all hooked up. Let's turn it on. Let's hit garage. And here we are. I really hope that this was a straightforward video for you guys. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Uh, like I said, if at any point, if you need to pause the video, go back and pause it. And I mean, I'm pretty sure I did pretty good with it. <laughs> so uh, with that being said, guys, I need bass on and out. Peace.